Hey everyone, it's Rain here. In today's video, we'll go over some minimal desk setup ideas for 2023 in a quick mini desk tour. These stylish and efficient space-saving designs are sure to boost your productivity. Whether you're a student, professional, or creative, I'll trust you'll find inspiration to elevate your workspace in 2023. I'll show you how a few changes can transform your setup from looking cluttered and uninspired to sleek and refined. Now, I've always wanted a clean, minimalistic, and aesthetically pleasing desk, which is why I went with the FlexiSpot E5 standing desk. I chose the walnut veneer chipboard and black frame because I felt it would match my current theme, which primarily consists of black hardware and accessories. This is the largest desk I've owned, with dimensions of 55 by 28 inches, and it is more than enough space for my current needs. This desk has a sturdy build quality, it's quite heavy, and looks smooth. I was primarily drawn to the E5 standing desk because of its unusually low height adjustment. I'm about 5'6 on a good day and this desk can go as low as 24.4 inches which is ridiculously low. I don't utilize the standing option as often as I'd like but it's convenient when you feel like stretching your legs and don't want to stop working. Initially designed for casual PC gaming, this desk space took on a new purpose when I started a YouTube channel. The centerpiece is my Dell 32-inch curved gaming monitor. Having used a multiple monitor setup for years for both work and leisure, I decided to try a single large monitor for this desk. I wanted a cleaner looking setup with less cables and monitor arms, but at the same time not having to sacrifice too much screen real estate. This monitor looks great while gaming, consuming media, and editing videos for YouTube. Now I'm not sure if it's the most accurate display for video or photo editing, as I've recently just dived into that realm, but it works for my current skill level, and more importantly, it gets the job done. Some quick stats about the monitor, it features Quad HD resolution, a fast 165Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, and a 99% sRGB color gamut. This is my first curved monitor display, and after a year of constant use, I honestly don't think I can go back to a flat screen, as the curved display feels more immersive, just looks natural to me. What do you guys think? Do you prefer a flat screen display or a curved one? And let me know the reason why in the comments below. I decided it was time for a change in my desk lamp. I've been using this LED lamp for a decade and it's been with me throughout my educational journey and career. Monitor light bars have been gaining popularity lately so I decided to give one a try. But I didn't want to splurge on the BenQ light bar. So I purchased this Melifo monitor light bar instead which came out to about $39.99 from Amazon. This light bar matches my overall aesthetic with its sleek design and sturdy metal plastic build. It has touch controls on the light bar itself, as well as a wireless remote in which you're able to adjust the color temperature and brightness levels by turning the dial. I feel the minimalistic design complements my workspace and provides added lighting without taking up any precious desk space. On my desk are the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 multimedia speakers, now, I'm no audiophile, but these speakers look and sound amazing. I received these speakers as an early Christmas gift from my wife back in 2019, and they've been part of my setup ever since. I love the compact and minimalistic design, as well as the simple volume, on-off controls, and the high-quality audio these speakers have to offer. From gaming to YouTube and everything in between, these have been my go-to speakers for a long time, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. The next three items have been part of my setup since December of 2020. The Keychron K8 is a RGB backlit aluminum frame mechanical keyboard that is 100% hot swappable and completely wireless. This keyboard is compatible for both Windows and Mac operating systems and includes both sets of Command or Windows keys. It originally came with Gateron Brown switches, but I was unhappy with the typing experience. And before long, I upgraded to the Gazoo U4 Boba silent switches. Aside from swapping out the switches, I've kept this K8 in stock condition, which is why I felt the need for a small aesthetic upgrade. I went ahead and bought some double shot PBT side printed keycaps in Phantom from Amazon, which not only gave it a minimalistic look, but elevated the overall typing experience. This is the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed wireless mouse. 
I previously used the wired version of this mouse and found its ergonomics and size perfect for work and gaming, which ultimately led me to purchase the wireless version. I love the overall look and feel of this mouse, the DPI settings and buttons are customizable, and you're able to create user profiles and preferences which can be saved via the Razer Central app. This mouse uses a single AA battery, and if I had to guess the battery life, it should last about a month with casual gaming and daily use. The last piece of this trio is the Glorious Gaming Wooden Wrist Rest in Black Onyx. I wanted a wooden wrist rest in black, and this fit the criteria. I'm a sweaty gamer, and you can definitely see some signs of use on this wrist rest. The mouse keyboard and wrist rest all sit on top of the XL Steel Series Quick Gaming Mouse Pad. Of course, this setup would not be complete without a pair of headphones. I'm using these Philips Audio SHP 9500 Open Back Stereo Headphones. They are lightweight, comfortable, and deliver excellent sound quality for their price. The open back design makes it easier to wear for longer sessions, and whether I'm gaming, watching YouTube, or editing videos, these headphones are always up for the task. Now underneath my desk is my workhorse. It is a custom PC I built during my undergrad year circa 2018. It's starting to show its age, but works just fine for my needs, and hopefully lasts me a few more years. I've added some new items to my desk from a recent minimal desk setup purchase, and among them is a candlelight humidifier aromatherapy device that enhances the overall ambiance and mood of my workspace, a Pomodoro timer which I'm still trying out, but love how it looks on my desk, and a few felt coasters for my drinkware. If you enjoyed this mini desk tour, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Let me know in the comments below what your next upgrade will be for your setup. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.